Hi Seasons Community, Michael Olson here and today I'm going to show you how to make butter chicken. Yes, this is delicious Indian food, but this was invented in England. So it's a mild version, rich, delicious, spicy in an aromatic way, but not in chili peppers. Now, I've got two, just over two pounds or about a kilo of chicken breast that has been cut up into just a little bigger than bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna marinate it with yogurt, plain yogurt, and a variety of spices. I've got tandoori powder, curry powder, turmeric, and salt. And we'll blend this with the yogurt and let this sit in the fridge, preferably for about an hour. It will pick up flavors right away, but if you give it an hour, it'll give a chance for that tangy yogurt and all those delicious spices to work into that chicken. Now for the real flavor builder, I have an onion that's been peeled and just roughly chopped, two cloves of garlic peeled and sliced, and the same amount of fresh ginger, about an inch that you've peeled and sliced. I'm gonna puree this into a paste that I'll cook and it'll be the foundation for that delicious sauce. I'm just gonna buzz this into a puree. Now, I've got a heavy bottom skillet, and I'll put just a couple of tablespoons of either melted clarified butter or vegetable oil like canola. And what I want to do is over medium high heat, cook it until it starts to get translucent and then you can really smell it and it'll almost take on a bit of a caramelization. I have to tell you the aroma of onions and ginger and garlic absolutely makes my mouth water. It just smells incredible. This is going to take about two minutes. And in the meantime, I can tidy up these dishes. Go. After two minutes, it starts to smell a little bit nutty and that ginger and garlic is just so beautifully aromatic. I don't want it to brown. So at this stage here, I'm going to add two and a half cups of tomato sauce. Whatever tomato sauce you like to put onto your pasta or cook with, is the one that works. If it's homemade, if it's store-bought, whatever works for you. We just choose a really good one that we like. Blend this together, and then we simply work in that chicken. I don't have to brown the chicken. I don't have to do anything else. And I add in all of that delicious marinade, including the yogurt. Chicken goes in. And right away, I'll smell all of those fragrant spices come to life. Now, once this comes up to a simmer, I will cover it loosely and probably look for about 18 to 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. If I use my thermometer, it'll read 165 Fahrenheit. And you'll also know that there's no pink and it's fully white right through. Get my lid ready to go. The last thing to go into this sauce is that delicious, rich whipping cream. So this is 35% cream, but I don't want to add it now. I'll add it at the very end and that'll smooth it out and make it rich and luxurious tasting. Okay, it smells really good. The chicken should be cooked at this point. If you're not sure, once again, use your thermometer to ensure that it's cooked thoroughly. And we're going to add half a cup of 35% cream to finish off the sauce. We'll give this a few more minutes just to bring it back to a simmer and correct the seasoning. You know, if it needs a pinch of salt, you can do that. It should be good to go, but I'm just gonna give this a few more minutes to bring it back to a simmer. 
Well, the sauce has come together beautifully. It's got this wonderful kind of orange color and it smells so good. I've in the meantime cooked basmati rice. I have mango chutney and some simple steamed vegetables. But just take a look at this sauce. So let's put together a plate. It's going to fluff up this rice a little. And, you know, sometimes when you cook a dish, you're excited about the, the protein or, or the, the meat or the main thing. And other times the sauce is just so darn good that that's the part that gets you all worked up. And in this case, I could just dip bread and pour the sauce over rice over and over again. It is so aromatic and so delicious. It's got that beautiful sort of character of the spice cabinet, but it's not fiery hot. There are no chilies in there. And we're just gonna finish this off with a little bit of that mango chutney. And that is a meal for the Seasons community. I'll see you next time. I'm Michael Olson. Have a great day.